last sketch for the week one of what's in the house here this area i tried to fit everything in one place because i don't have too much space as you can see and then the subject will be my shoes our shoes here problem shoes before i clean it up today is more like summer shoes as you can see the color sandals are there um yeah pumps heel pumps and things like that and probably the sketch will be slant like this or that i'm not really sure yet this is going to be more bigger sizes shoes the fading point is there so there it's more smaller because uh impression if it's further at the back so you're the artist you are the creator so you can decide how you want to make it you can also just do it the way it is but as you can see if you also look it on my perspective it's also the same thing here is close and look at the back it's smaller so i'm gonna sketch my shoes and that's that one i have my sketchbook here from scott Coval. i will sketch the shoes here in this area just to fill up the sketchbook page if you'd like to join our challenge you can join you can freely join and you don't have to sketch every day just sketch when you want when you have time when you are in a mood to sketch normally when i sketch i first need to um, make myself comfortable before i start sketching because it will also affect your your style so it's like this the idea what I have in mind is doing like this. So when I uh, sketch shoes, I gently sketch. Uh, I sketch gently, and sometimes it's not really what you. S the proportion is not good, and I don't really mind it. And I always start with something that I can use as a measurement. Like this is going to be my measurement to everything. Like here, the size of this will be based on the size of the other shoes. I just forgot I start with line here. But I actually didn't use it for my previous sketch. This hydrangea and uh, the coffee cups. So that's a little bit pity. I didn't notice it in advance, but anyway, that's fine. logo here because I really like the logo of these shoes. The reason why I like these shoes to be in front is just because of the color and the texture. If you can see there, there's a yellow, beautiful rich color, yellow and black. And also the spots, the dots there, it's perfect for this subject. So that's why I really want to uh, want that to be in front. Okay, so I'm not going to be crazy with the layering here because I'm going to color it also, so that's okay. So now, I'm uh, basically measuring this, the distance between the other shoes and the other one's shoes. So that's why I told you I don't need really a um, pencil for this because I can just base it the distance from the first subject. And that's the tip if you want to go straight with your pen. Uh, try to sketch first the, the interesting subject on your sketch. But remember, this is not a wild and realistic sketch, okay? So it's about the atmosphere or the the thing that you want to show on the sketch. He's watching Formula 1. It's finally an air, so he's watching it in the living room. that's the shoes it's gonna be yellow you see it's not really realistic and this is a little bit of something going on here but I don't mind it because you know it's an impression if this if I'm gonna color this later on you will see the difference you will 
<laughs> Maybe you're not gonna see the difference, but if you will see it later on, you know what I mean. Now I'm gonna do the other one because normally I don't really talk what I sketch. But because you are, I am doing it. The voice is actually live while I'm sketching. So I'm actually doing two things at the same time. something hi thank you so much like uh no no i just want that one can you bring me some coffee say hi scott oh hi okay that's good okay so i'm gonna go back i'm, I'm done with the second only sugar shoes i think let me see so this is the second shoes and if you see what i mean um i started first with these shoes and then I check the distance with these two. First, I finish the sketch of this. Go with this, and then that, and then that. Once you're already done with your main subject, it's easy to crawl on from the other one. You see the distance between this and that, and this one. This is smaller than this because this is in front of you. This is in the back. And again, the distance from this to and that and then that's gonna be your measurement again until you go further to the end sketch this one that one that one that one this last four here Look at that! Da, 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 da. So I'm gonna have a break, I'm gonna have a coffee break and then we're gonna continue. So uh, I just had a break and now I'm ready to continue my sketching. And I forgot that I, when I was doing the coloring, the first layer of colors, I thought that I was uh, filming and I forgot that I didn't press the button so yeah this is sorry I already made some colors here and actually what I only did is just put a basic color like yellow and you know like this kind of a one no layers yet just one basic color so that's what I did with every shoes I have here it was also move a little bit because my dog uh, walked in it and it change the position so that's fine that's okay and i also gonna add one more slipper which is there i forgot to add that one i think i'm gonna put one shoes here and this is also with waterproof ink so it will not bleed or it will not fade when i um, meet with water so oops i'll move it there yeah.
just one layer. That's it. The light from this room is really from this side, this side, and also on this side. So after the, there's a shadow here under. It's a good shadow. Here I'm using Bain's Gray for my work. is actually intensify the color of the shoes which is I always do with my sketches like here you will see it's orange I'm gonna intensify it with my brush pen that's everything what I'm gonna do now is brush pen so this is not finished yet and then I'm also gonna make some texture with like for example um, some lines or some dots and everything like that with my fine liner and also with, um, with my gel pen okay and I'll see you in a bit. 